Just off the shores of Lake Erie, we are at First Energy Stadium in a city aptly named after its founder, Moses Cleveland, way back in 1796. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cleveland Browns. It's 3-0 versus 2-1, and one, a good early season battle as we're underway in week four. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Open man is Uzama. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. He's got his man on the crossing route. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. And that's how you pick up a first right, down. Like Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Nixon with a first down carry. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run Derek Wolf there on the tackle <laughs> on third down he'll drop to throw that's caught by his tight end Uzama and he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep, Antonio Brown. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. First down. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it a second down. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here's Luck now on second down. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And down he'll go at the 25. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Andre Hal, the one to bring him down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. On second down, here's Locke. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ken Crowley. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. PAT up and good by Rosas. And it's now a 7 0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Tony Michelle, his first carry. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Out of the gun, Luck. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now this is fielded in the end zone. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. 
Here comes the Browns offense back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Detroit! Detroit! Ah! He'll look to throw. Side, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And the pitch goes to Mixon. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep no, no, moving no, no. laterally, Patriot, Patriot. creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. Yeah, it came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Detroit! Detroit! Ha! They'll drop the throw. Escaping the pressure right. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Yeah, good game catching the ball in the backfield a week ago. And they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Now, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game. Limit it to just short runs because he can really impact this offense. Just 34 yards on the punt there. No return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And out now come the Eagles. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. If you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They come up in an offset eye. They'll look to throw here. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best. They're on. He's, he's slinging it on this one. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns add six to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Rosas now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And nice 
Bears work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet. To throw on second down is Locke. Spins away. On the check down, he finds Kamara. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Here's Locke. He gets it to Brown, complete. Brown, his first catch. It's a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. A shotgun snap for Love. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Throwing on third down, Locke. Flush to his right. And that's complete to Cross. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. From the gun, here's Love. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. And Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Picked off by Ken Crowley. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback Detroit! and be Detroit! ready to make the catch. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his left. And it's caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Michael Gallup, his first touchdown on the year. And the Browns add on to their lead. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Rosas good with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Rosas now to kick this one away. And 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And some dangerous territory, You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out as they did. Yeah, decent little game. Puts him in. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by DeMonte Kazin. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seen the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off. That's under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Matt Milano leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll set up to throw. Fourth. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Derek Wolf in there to get him, and this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. They're going to look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Well, they are able to get nine yards out of that, but now it's fourth down. And the kick by Rosas is good. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they've ran onto the field. That's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. And on the stop, Demonte Casey. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Here's Locke. That is caught. It's Perriman. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On first and ten, Locke looking downfield for Godwin. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And that'll make it 24-7. Elliott now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. 
it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on the board. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play that time for Cleveland. 47 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Two minutes remain here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. It's Mixon on the counter. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when he clipped off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Back to throw. And a third down pass falls incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. On first down, Rock. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. On first down, it's locked. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the 50, it's locked. And this is caught at the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Luck now to throw. Flushed out right, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. Twelve, twelve, twelve. 
Back to throw. Love. Deluded. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. As they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And Elliott puts this one through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. This is taken at his four. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. On the left side, Gallup's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Leopard, Leopard! On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going for a right side here, complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. They'll throw now on the final play. Steps away. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the six. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. Let's we'll see if that script is a good one for him. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. It'll be a three-yard gain. And that is going to set up a third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Luck on first down. It's complete to Brown, right side. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And there's a man they call A.B., always a volume receiver. He gobbles up catches. Holds a number two and number four spots for most receptions in a season in NFL history. And in 2015, just seven catches shy of saying the single season mark for most receptions, currently held by Marvin Harrison, a Hall of Famer. And he had 136 catches that year on the heels of 129 the season before. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two.
A tenth carry for Kamara. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Well, as the play call comes in on third down. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles get a score closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter. So time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Dumps it off to Mixon. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. The Browns on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. On play action, they'll throw. He'll buy some time right. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Give him six on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. On his Kern, the punter, to send this one away. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor. Now they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Andre Howe. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They come up in an offset eye. He's going to get it running right, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Rosas now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. 
What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Back to the air. Luck on second down. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun on third down, Locke. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. To throw is Locke. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Camaro. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now a first down throw, Locke. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Again, Locke. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense... And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They snap it to Locke. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, the man has got it. It's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Well, certainly not how they drew it up. A fourth down gamble turns into a fourth down scramble. But all is well. First down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Love. That's complete right around the end. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll give it to him up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the pickup, and that is going to set up third and goal. I didn't have to stretch for this one. This is for down territory. They've got to get it in with the deficit that they're facing. Absolutely. It's not the fourth quarter, but still, you, I think you, you can't be thinking three here. No, if you do that, you might as well go ahead and fold up on this one, but I don't think they're built like that. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Here we go with Michelle, and he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Sony Michelle, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Showing some grits and some guts going for it there. Fourth and goal, pounding it in. And being rewarded for that confidence in the team, huh? The coach saying, let's go ahead and get this. And how about the guys up front firing out, finding a little bit of a crack for them to get through it? Touchdown. I love it.
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out. Just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Gone, 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 gone. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. The offense on third down tonight, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. They're looking at third and a few inches. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. They'll set up to throw. Buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically. But it hurts more when they get it this way. Because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw to mix it on the check down. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll drop the throw, and he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for right, finding his way six. open and completing six. the connection. They'll set up a throw. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A handoff to Mixon, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. 
The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Got his man there complete to Gallup. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Oh, no, he lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Love. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Desperation time for Lock on fourth down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first down, Love. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. On first and 10, Locke. This will be caught by Brown. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call. And you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. Looking deep downfield. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now it's long. He can run for it, and he will. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Luck showing he can be dangerous when he tucks and runs. He's able to pick up the first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Move it around, making it happen. And, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On second down, here's Love. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. As his guys are in for six. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here, got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. they got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Gone, 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 gone. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure right, out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. But people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. So there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Ivan, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job Green, using his eyes, Green, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Back to throw here. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. The Browns on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and 17. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. On the move to his left. He's got it complete to Braxton Miller. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all oh, the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. 
It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. And it's third down. throw deep downfield that'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock these are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter doesn't it it certainly does and in the second quarter he may very well run by him but in this situation i know as a defender i'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride one score down here we go they're gonna go for it here on fourth down He's back to throw. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And they will get the timeout. So three seconds remaining. And they can trot out the field goal unit and try to send this one to overtime. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. and a flag and I think we got a jump here a free five yards as the defense jumps I know it's an anticipation game for them but it's also a reaction game and they reacted poorly on that one so out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today Is it going to get there? It's no good. Didn't get enough leg on it. Not what you'd expect from an NFL kicker. And it's going to be the final act of this ball game. Well, we were prepping for overtime up here in the booth, partner. Thought for sure we were destined for OT. And then the chip shot field goal, no good. A tough law. Oh, without question, because when you're saying prepping, I was locked in. I think you were, too. We're going to overtime. I was already gathering my thoughts about, okay, how do we start? What happens with the coin toss? Who's going to play defense first? And I have to admit, I'm in a little bit of shock that he missed that field goal. I'm absolutely still in shock. Eight. Just a tough way to end it. So for Cleveland, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.